Hey everybody, so since I'm going away on a weekend trip, even though it's during the week, it's the same time period as a weekend, um, but since I'm going away, I figured that it would have been a perfect time to do a What's in My Bag Spoonie Edition, um, and so I was going to put it in my vlog, and then decided that I've seen this hashtag going around a lot, and it'd be really cool to just do a separate video so it's not meshed in with one, um, any of my vlogs. So this is going to be both What's in My Bag Spoonie Edition for my regular everyday leave the house um, purse bag and a two-day trip bag. Okay, so first off, I am going to start with my everyday bag. I actually don't carry that much stuff in my like everyday leave the house going somewhere bag. Minus medication that I don't really have much in it. So I do um, have a pulse ox, and this is just to check my oxygen saturation and my heart rate. Um, it was like $10 on Amazon, maybe $12 on Amazon. I use this all the time. It's really, really good um, to have with any chronic illness, but especially when we were concerned about a POTS diagnosis, this was important. Then I have my wallet, I have my normal cards, my ID, money, all of that fun stuff. Just a little bit of gravity wallet that I throw into my bag. And this starts the medication. So I actually carry a whole bunch of um, as needed medications in my bag just because at any given time I might need these medications. So this is, I used to have them all at home, but this is like the only practical way of dealing with this. So I have nausea medication, I have water to take medications. Adjusted muscle relaxer. I have a um, kind of like a it's a prescription strength antacid. Um, so it's for my ulcer, more nausea medication. And then I have these guys, and I have them in a few different flavors. So these guys I swear by. I use them mix with water it's new um, I use them to mix with water um, they have electrolytes in them and so they're very important to be you know taking in extra of when um, your pots is really bad so I carry those most of them taste good for the most part I have um, nail polish and a top coat the reason I have this in my bag is because um, I take it to grandma's because I do her nails for her. I have my um, external hard drive for my vlogs. Um, now, I don't know why I have this in my bag. It should be in my backpack. Um, but I kind of am keeping this in my backpack just in case I need to pull anything from it or bring anything else to it. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I have water, I have an inhaler, I have um, the EOS chapstick, I have essential oil related stuff, I have Awaken, and then I have a muscle and joint, little roller balls I made, and I have another one that is Tranquil, and I have somewhere. And then other than that, I have um, uh, Kathy Tampons, the regular that every girl needs, and some eyeliner. So that is what is in my first bag. So really when it comes down to it, it's the POTS tablets, a, my wallet, my pull socks, and over-the-counter medic- er, as needed medication. Okay, so now I'm moving on to my backpack. I just have something from Bill Bradley. Um, yeah, just like a standard backpack. Now, this I'm using to um, put two days worth of stuff in it. So, it's not really a full weekend, but sort of. 
even though it's Tuesday or Thursday. Okay, so unfortunately I am going to start with medication because this becomes a spoony what's in my bag. So my entire front pocket is actually medication. All of it. And what's even more unfortunate about this is that I use these two pill holders. So I have my nightly meds and my morning meds. So everything's already in the pill holder. And then I have, again, a whole bunch of as needed. I have magnesium for the stomach. And I have some airway related um, products, I guess, medications. Um, not products, medications. And then I have three, yeah, I have three more as needed medication. And then I have, I think, four of these um, cow plasma. Um, drinks that I use for my digestive system, and if you do not know what I'm talking about, I am going to link it somewhere over here. I never know which way. Um, so that's like the entirety of my front pocket. It's all meds. And then I do have my tablet. I have a water bottle. Now this I bring because it holds, this is a, a POTS kind of related thing, it holds 0.88 liters of water and um, people with POTS need to get between 2.5 and 3 liters of water a day. So I know if I have 3 to 4 of these, that's within that like okay range. Um, additionally, for because of the amount of water I have to drink, it's just better for me to use one of these bigger guys than just the, like, you know, like these. And unfortunately, I can't throw it into my bag, but um, it's just more practical for somebody with pots. And then I brought normal thing. I brought yarn because I'm crazy and about 60 years older than I actually am. I am bringing loose leaf tea because I am trying to get back into it. I'm bringing just a little thing of loose leaf tea. I have contacts, again, something normal. <laughs> okay, this is embarrassing. So I bought this for Adrian to use when I'm not there, and it turned into him keeping the bigger diffuser because I'm there way more than I am at home, so it turned into him use, keeping the diffuser there for and all of the oils actually for us to use there. And I took this back for when I'm home and my friend that I'm seeing um, likes stuff like this, so she'd be into this. So I figured I'd bring my little guy. Also, it's, it's really tiny and it's just like a little USB thing. It was from Bed Bath Beyond. It was only like $12. So normally I wouldn't bring something like that, but I think the friend I'm seeing would like that, so. And then I have clothes. And deodorant and lotion and spray. And then I think that's it. I think I have like a facial type of product and um, the one bottle of essential oil that I like pretty much can't fill it up. That's not. Okay, well, it's tranquil by plant therapy. So between my um, just as needed and my nightly medications and any extra as needed medications, I mean this is everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot and things used to be very different when I didn't have these two pill holders. Um, so but that's all my purely medical stuff. Um, that is the clothing I'm bringing, and then I have contacts, tea, my water bottle, my essential oil thing, my tablet, um, deodorant, and lotion and spray, and yarn, and 
that's it for my overnight stuff. So that's about it. Um, this is constantly, constantly subject to change, even day to day, week to week, month to month. Um, and it is different for somebody who has the same exact illness as I have. This is completely, completely different. Um, you know, varies completely um, person to person. And um, potentially, most likely in the next couple weeks, um, it's been in the works for a little while if you don't watch my vlogs. Um, I've been waiting on getting a pick line so that I can do home IV care, uh, home IV infusions, basically just saline infusions for my pots. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, a pick line kind of goes in to your arm right over here, and it is a direct line to your heart. Um, and they can stay in for about a year. Normal IVs only last three to four days. And the fact that I'm having such repeated um, need for IV access, it's just safer to have a line. Um, because I'm having scar tissue build up in my arms. So in a month, this could be through for me and everything is completely different. I'm gonna have to do an updated video, but everything could be completely different with the change of just one thing. Um, and that's just me, that's just one person. But if you guys are new, definitely check out some of my other videos. I add content like this often. Um, and then I do do daily vlogs, but obviously you can pick and choose what you want to watch. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and comment if you have any suggestions for further videos. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time, and have a great rest of your day.